Hey travelers, welcome. In this video, we're going to be talking about the new character Al Haytham and a specific build that I personally use to maximize his damage output. Al Haytham is a Dendro Element Sword DPS character that can deal a significant amount of Dendro damage through his normal attacks, but he has a unique playstyle that requires specific timings in order to maximize his damage output. This build is just one of the many ways to play Al Haytham, and I encourage you to experiment with different builds and playstyles to see what works best for you. So let's break down Al Haytham's skills to understand how he works. During combat, Al Haytham generates mirrors that amplify his dendro damage. The more mirrors he has, the better his dendro damage is. Al Haytham can generate a maximum of 3 mirrors with a 4 second cooldown before they vanish. His elemental skill teleports Al Haytham to a brief location similar to Kei Cheng. If Al Haytham has no mirrors prior to casting his elemental skill, this ability generates two mirrors, otherwise it will only generate one. Al Haytham's charge and plunge attacks can also generate one mirror with a 12 second cooldown. His elemental burst summons a field that deals dendro damage in a wide area and will deal extra damage based on the number of mirrors he has available. The more mirrors he has active, the more hits he will deal. However, if he has no mirrors during the casting of the elemental burst, he will gain mirrors at the end of the burst duration. Now for this build, I will be using the Harangi Pakofutsu since I do not have his signature weapon. But if you do have it, use the Light of Foliar Incision. As an alternative, you can also use the Iron Sting for a 4-star weapon since his passive allows for Elemental Mastery to be converted to damage. For artifacts, I build him with a 4-piece Gilded Dream set with Elemental Mastery Sand piece, Dendro Damage Goblet piece, and Crit Damage or Crit Rate Circlet piece. You can also use a 4-piece Deep Wood Memory set but only if you do not have another Dendro teammate on your team. If you do have another Dendro teammate, Al Haytham should use the Gilded set, and the other Dendro unit should use the Deepwood Memory set. For Constellations, a good stopping point would be Constellation 4, which will provide additional Elemental Mastery and Dendro Damage bonus for each mirror Al Haytham generates. One of the key elements of playing Al Haytham effectively is understanding how to maximize the use of his mirrors. As I mentioned earlier, Al Haytham generates mirrors that amplify his dendro damage, with a maximum of 3 mirrors that have a 4 second cooldown before they vanish. His elemental skill and his charge or plunge attack can also generate 1 mirror each. To make the most out of his kit, I like to start with casting his elemental burst first with no mirrors. This will generate 3 mirrors at the end of the burst duration. After that, I start auto-attacking until I see him cast two sword showers. As soon as the second sword shower appears, I immediately cast this elemental skill to refresh the lost mirror and keep up the three mirror uptime. I continue to auto-attack until I see another two sword showers, and then similar to the first combo, I perform a charge attack to refresh another mirror. At this point, both the elemental skill and the charge attack are on cooldown, so there's really no way to replenish the mirrors further. So you can continue to auto attack until the mirrors run out or switch to a different character. By following this combo, I am able to maintain 3 mirrors for a total of 6 sword showers. This is the easiest and least complicated way to play Al Haytham, but players may experiment and develop their own playstyles as they become more comfortable with the character. And that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. So overall, Al Haytham is a unique character with a playstyle that requires timing and practice to master. But with the right build and understanding of his abilities, he can be a powerful addition to any Genshin Impact team. The more you know, follow and subscribe for more Genshin videos.